Ever wondered what the future has in store for China? Buckle up because the developing China has some genuinely mind-blowing mega projects in the works. Watch this video to the end as we see record-breaking bridges, the planet's biggest airports and other architectural marvels happening in China. And remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. China's infrastructure ambitions know no bounds. One of their most significant current projects is building multiple new airports, including Beijing Daxing International Airport. Opened in 2019, Daxing Airport is the largest single building airport in the world. It's roughly the size of 97 soccer fields. The sleek, starfish-shaped terminal was designed to handle over 100 million passengers annually. Talk about future-proofing! Daxing is one of six new mega airports China plans to open by 2025. Chengdu Tianfu International Airport opened in 2021 with its wavy roof and gardens. Shanghai's new Pudong Airport expansion was completed in 2022. And in 2025, Beijing Capital Airport's new satellite concourse will be completed, making it the world's largest airport hub. China needs more airport capacity with an expanding middle class and booming tourism. These new ultramodern airports also project an image of China as an innovative world leader in infrastructure and design. It's a clever strategy that lets them show off their architectural creativity on a grand scale. Between new airports, roads, railways, and ports, China is rapidly connecting its 1.4 billion citizens, making it vastly easier for international visitors to explore all the diversity this country offers. The future is wide open for travel and exchange in China. What an exciting prospect! Another exciting mega project in China is the Guangzhou Opera House. The Guangzhou Opera House opened in 2010 and was designed by renowned Iraqi-British architect Zaha Hadid. Known for her futuristic and sculptural style, Hadid created a structure that resembles two smooth pebbles along the Pearl River. The Opera House includes a 1,800-seat theater and a multi-function hall accommodating 400 people. The halls are connected by a central concourse that includes an art gallery and educational facilities. The design is meant to evoke images of Guangzhou's nickname, the Flower City, with its smooth, petal-like forms. Hadid's daring and avant-garde design initially faced criticism but has since gained global recognition. The Opera House has hosted world-class performers like Placido Domingo and the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra, showcasing China's growing prominence on the world stage. The Opera House has become an essential landmark for Guangzhou, attracting local and international visitors. Guangzhou's Opera House serves as an example of China's cultural ambition and investment in landmark architecture. The Opera House cost over $300 million to construct, demonstrating China's commitment to building iconic and world-class cultural institutions. Its fluid sculptural form has also placed Guangzhou at the forefront of architectural innovation, cementing its status as a global hub for business and culture. Overall, the Guangzhou Opera House is a testament to China's vision for the 21st century. Did you know that China can flatten the mountain? China's most ambitious mega-project currently underway is the Mountain Flattening Initiative in Guizhou Province. The provincial government plans to flatten 700 mountains over the next three years to open up more land for development. Crews use explosives and heavy machinery to flatten the peaks, some of which are over a thousand feet high. The project will displace around 9,000 people from their mountain homes and farms. Blasting away mountains also risks causing landslides, threatening nearby villages and towns. The noise and dust from constant explosions pose health hazards as well. Some see the mountain flattening as a show of power and determination, indicative of the massive scale of changes China is willing to undertake. Supporters claim the new land can be used for agriculture, tourism, and commercial development. The tractors counter that the environmental destruction is short-sighted and that there are better ways to improve living standards, especially for the rural poor directly affected. As China's economy slows, mega-projects like this are coming under greater scrutiny. Mountain flattening on this scale is unprecedented, and the long-term consequences remain unknown. For better or worse, China is forging ahead with plans that are moving mountains. Do you support the idea of China flattening mountains? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. As for me, nah, I don't agree with the things meant to destroy nature. It's ironic how China is flattening mountains and, on the other hand, building the biggest renewable energy hydropower plant. The Beiyan Hydropower Plant is China's biggest renewable energy project currently under construction. 
Once completed, it will be the largest hydropower station in southwest China. To harness the power of the Jincha River, crews are building a massive dam and reservoir that will generate over 10,000 megawatts of electricity. That's enough to power 10 million homes. The $24 billion project will help China meet its renewable energy goals and reduce its dependence on coal. The Beiyan Reservoir will hold 23 billion cubic meters of water, nearly 10 times the volume of Sydney Harbour. Roads, railways and new towns are also being built around the mega-project to support the enormous construction effort and an influx of workers to this rural region. While hydropower is a renewable and low-carbon energy source, projects of this gigantic scale raise environmental concerns. Proper safeguards must be in place to protect local wildlife, limit deforestation and ensure the livelihoods of indigenous residents are respected. If executed responsibly, the Beiyan hydropower plant could set a model for sustainable development and help propel China's green energy transformation. The mega-project highlights the nation's ambition to become an ecological civilization and lead the global renewable revolution. Another great project China is undertaking is constructing the Zhaozhou Bay Bridge. The Zhaozhou Bay Bridge is one of China's most ambitious infrastructure projects. It will be the world's longest cross-sea bridge spanning 26.3 miles. The bridge connects the port city of Qingdao to the outlying suburb of Huangdao. Its main span alone is 5.5 miles long, supported by a series of massive pylons along the bay. The bridge is designed to withstand earthquakes up to magnitude 8 and typhoon force winds. It cuts travel time across the bay in half, from 1 hour down to 30 minutes. The Zhaozhou Bay Bridge is part of China's broader effort to improve connectivity between its eastern and western regions. It will provide a strategic link in the country's expressway network and further enable economic cooperation between Qingdao, South Korea and Japan. The bridge has cost over 10 billion dollars, highlighting China's willingness to invest heavily in massive infrastructure projects. Some critics argue the bridge was built more for political prestige than economic need. Its high costs and potential environmental impacts also raise questions about sustainability. However, supporters counter that the Zhaozhou Bay Bridge will spur tourism and business opportunities that outweigh the initial investment. As with many of China's mega-projects, only time will tell if the benefits live up to the promises. For now, the bridge remains an impressive symbol of China's engineering capabilities and ambition on the global stage. And that's not all, China has built another megastructure. The massive Three Gorges Dam is one of China's most ambitious mega-projects. Completed in 2006, it is the world's largest power station in terms of installed capacity. The dam generates hydroelectric power through its 32 turbine generators. It produces around 100 terawatt-hours of electricity annually. The dam's hydroelectric power provides energy to millions of homes and businesses. While the dam has increased China's renewable energy supply, it has displaced over 1 million people and submerged entire towns in the rising reservoir. The reservoir flooded culturally significant landmarks and displaced wildlife habitats. It even caused small earthquakes and landslides due to the immense pressure of the water. The Three Gorges Dam showcases China's ability to complete enormous infrastructure projects that boost its economy and global standing. However, these massive undertakings often come with huge environmental and social costs that threaten cultural heritage sites and displaced communities. As China pursues more sustainable megaprojects, balancing renewable energy production and environmental protection will be critical. China is not holding back with its upcoming megaprojects. As an emerging superpower, it's flexing its economic muscle and betting on ambitious, long-term investments that could reshape global trade and geopolitics. While the scope and scale of these projects are mind-boggling, China's track record of fast, efficient infrastructure building means they have a good shot at success. For the rest of the world, that could mean new opportunities for partnerships and profits in the coming decades. But it also means China has more influence on the global stage. The future is hard to predict, but one thing's for sure, it will be built in China. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe as we have more architectural and mega project videos on the way.